Welcome to this video tutorial on how to add grass to a scene in Twinmotion. In this video I'm going to be using this model here where I've set up some basic landscape textures and a few textures for my building and some environmental lighting. I'll put a link in the description to this initial setup for this video if you want to follow along with that piece too. Now to begin to set grass to the scene in Twinmotion we're going to first select my landscape here, go up to vegetation and go to the grass and flowers option here. I'm going to scroll down and for this scene because we're kind of like in a slightly wild area I'm going to be using this tall grass here as an initial sort of setup which we're going to apply to this landscape. To do this I'm going to go to the populate tab here, we're going to select the scatter option and we're just going to drag our tall grass into this kind of scatter palette here. Then with our landscape selected and that populate tab clicked and then going to click on our tall grass, click on our scatter tool paint bucket here and just click it on the surface and here you can see it's then applied to that surface. If you want to add more in we're going to click again and you'll see it will add slightly more and I'm just going to do it a few times, three sort of four times there, maybe one more to give this kind of initial overall covering of this long grass. Now once you place this you can always select the grass, we can go back to this properties panel here, we can adjust the size so we could make it slightly smaller slightly bigger as well. We can play around with the growth type. You can change it to be much more dry if you want to sort of drier grass as well. I'm going to keep mine quite green for now. And we're going to make sure the wind is ticked on so you get that nice kind of motion in the wind. Now you'll notice when I add this in we can't actually see any in the distance and it kind of stops at a point. Now the reason for this is twin motion kind of limits the visibility of all these objects to keep the kind of speed moving around your objects quite fast in the viewport. You can actually tweak how much grass you can see up in the edit preferences option here. If we go to grass fading you'll see I've got mine set to far. By default it's usually set to medium and if I click there you'll see it kind of cuts it off there um, and it can also be set to near if you want to and that will speed up your scene. If you're struggling with speed sometimes it's good to set it to near and it will clip it up to that point there. Now what you'll find is although it's clipped when you actually render this out as you can see in the image on the screen now it actually kind of completes the grass up until the furthest point in the image so it does add it in the render but it's just not visible in the scene when you're working on it. So that's just how you kind of tweak the fading of the grass. I'm going to keep mine on far for now so we can see it in the foreground there. Now usually I'll add this base level and I'll also add some more detail closer to the camera so we get some other varieties of grass and different heights and lengths as we get closer to the camera. Usually with grass you want to increase that detail the closer you get to the view because if you do it too far away it's just going to add complexity, increase your render times and you're not going to be able to see it. So only add detail where you can see it close to the camera. To do this I'm going to select now the tall grass, we're going to use this tall grass one and we're going to go back to the populate tab and we're going to use the paint setting this time. I'm going to just select that tall grass one, drop it in there and then let's just lower the diameter of this brush and we're just going to paint some of this near to the camera. So I'm just going to paint a little patch in front here. Once we've painted that I'm just going to go back to the move tool, select my tall grass and we're going to play around with that density, adding a few more bits make the size a little bit longer there and you can kind of see this now in between my original grass we've got there as well. You can also change if you want to add the dryness and tweak this particular one too. So now we've got a couple of different varieties closer to the camera. To kind of work into this even more I'm going to add one more type of grass and we're going to do this in a slightly different way this time. This time we're going to go to the area option here. I'm going to use the tall grass too this time and we're going to drag that in so a different variety and I'm going to just draw an area in this kind of bottom corner and this bit's going to be much taller than my other grass. If you want to you can always zoom out a little bit to complete that area just so it's off camera slightly and then I'm going to go into my settings here, make sure I've got that tall grass selected. We're going to lower down that spacing by default it's set to four meters. We want it to be quite close together so I'm going to set it to one. We're also going to kind of randomize the scale and up the scale a little bit as well. If you find you still can't see it on that one spacing you might need to kind of tweak it. You'll find that it is quite light, you can kind of see in my scene here and I'm going to click to go a bit closer there. Make sure that kind of grass is selected. Sometimes as well it can be quite hard to select these objects. 
There we go, just checking it's that tall grass too there. And then I'm going to just up the scale a little bit more to make it a bit bigger. You don't want it too large, you see that's probably a bit too big there. Lower it down a little bit, so somewhere in between there, looks good. Add a random rotation, so we get a nice kind of rotation to it too. And you can always tweak the spacing if you want a few more pieces, like so. So there we've got a few different varieties of grass which kind of increase as we get closer to the camera. Now what we can do is we can also sort of play around with the wind. You can see here I've got some wind working on this grass already. Your wind settings can be found if you select your image, go to the environment tab and here we've got a kind of wind speed, wind direction. By default your wind speed is usually quite low, it's kind of down here and you can see it's very subtle movement. But what's quite nice is having all this grass is to really add quite a strong wind speed to it and you get this nice kind of movement of the grass and the wind which looks quite nice in your views and you can set it up to render out a video and you can capture that movement as well. You can also tweak the direction if you want it coming from a particular angle in the scene. As a final touch, I'm just going to add in some flowers into this scene to give it a little bit more kind of variety in this grass. To do that, we're going to go back to the Populate tab, I'm going to go back to our Scatter, I'm going to click on Poppies this time, let's drop them in there, and then we'll select them, and then we're just going to scatter them on this landscape as well. And there you can see I've got my poppies there. What we can also do here, if we just go to the Move tab, is just play around with the size of those and we can make them bigger if we want to as well. And now that just breaks up the grass a little bit, adds a bit of variety. And you'll see within Twin Motion we've got a few different types of flowers we can mix in there just to break up that grass. So that was just a quick video tutorial on how to add grass into your scenes in Twin Motion. I hope you found this video useful and if you want to watch any other videos on playing around with vegetation, rendering within Rhino, Twinmotion and other softwares please do check out the videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.